now you will learn how to make money on being expert to peer with crypto arbitrage. In a nutshell, you want to buy low, sell high and profit the difference. For example, buy USDT for below 0.9 euros. And then you go here and you sell USDT for more than 0.9 euros. That's the basic idea of making money with crypto arbitrage on peer-to-peer -peer trading. And the first step for making money on BingX is to create the 100% free account. And I will leave your link in the description right here below my video where you can get the best welcome bonuses on BingX. After clicking the link below my video, you will land on the BingX registration page where you will get better welcome bonuses than you could normally get. You will create your free account using your email, phone number, Google or Apple account. All sign up methods are free. Once you are inside BingX, you will find peer-to-peer -peer trading here on the buy crypto and peer-to-peer -peer trading section. And even though it's under the buy crypto, you can also sell crypto right here. You can also find peer-to-peer -peer easily on the BingX app. You simply click here more and here you find peer-to-peer -peer trading. And here you are able to trade exactly the same way as you can trade on your computer. You might be scratching your head and thinking, what is peer-to-peer? -peer? It means that you can buy and sell crypto directly with other BingX users. So when you choose any of these offers, there will be another BingX user on the other side of the screen trading with you. So the other person will, for example, buy from you and you will sell for him or the other way around. And there are no middlemen because there is an actual exchange of money between you and another BingX user. And you can use local payment methods as you can see here. For example, for Europe, there are SEPA bank transfers and other ways to transfer money easily. Here you can also find many other currencies. You can see dozens of different currencies from all around the world. Even US dollar, Indian rupee, Filipino peso, you name it. They have many different currencies. Even British pound can be found here. Once you have chosen your preferred currency, you can choose here a payment method. So how you want to send or receive money. And you notice that they provide numerous different payment methods worldwide. If you are wondering how are you able to buy from other people and send them money through a bank transfer safely. And the reason is that BingX uses an escrow server. So if this person, for example, here wants to sell USDT for you, he needs to lock that USDT into BingX escrow service. So once you send him the money, he will release that from the BingX escrow service. When you want to use peer-to-peer -peer or any other platform where you are dealing with fiat currencies, also known as government currencies, you will need to do the KYC, which means that you need to verify your identity using a passport or other ID document. Those are simply regulatory requirements that BingX follows. Even though they may provide other services without KYC, peer-to-peer -peer in almost all platforms requires a KYC. After you have chosen whether you want to buy or sell USDT, you will start looking for the good offer. And first of all, you want to look somebody that has a good price. So when you sell USDT, you want to get at least close to one dollar, preferably even more, because typically the price of one USDT is one dollar and you want to make money. So you want to get more than the current market price. And here you can see also the payment method that these people are using to buy USDT from you. And on this one, you can see how much they are buying or selling. So if you would want to take this offer, for example, you can sell up to 1000 USDT for each transaction. With this offer, you could sell up to 30,000 USD for each transaction. This offer right here requires exactly 580 to 581 dollars. And here the range is again bigger. So you can choose a suitable one for you. And when you want to choose this offer, you don't want to take somebody that has zero completed rates and zero completion rate. 
You rather want to take somebody who has already many completed orders. For example, this one 20 completed orders in the last 30 days and more than 90% completion rate. So that for me looks better than for example zero. However, 20 still is not a lot, so you might want to consider if there are other ones. For example, this one has more than 470 trades in the last 30 days, this one more than 90 trades. So these ones are of course better than the one with 27 or 20 completed trades. And when it comes to completion rate, the higher the better, 88 is great, 98 is completely perfect. Now let me explain to you the money making process more in detail. As you can see here the price for USDT is one dollar and you can see from the price history it's almost exactly one dollar almost always. Now you can see these people they are selling USDT for more than one dollar. You can see this one is selling for more than 1.02 dollars and if we go here some people are selling it even more than 1.03 dollars. So these people are making money with crypto arbitrage because they are selling it higher. Now if other people are doing it, you can do it as well. And of course you can create your own offers here as well. You could start this merchant application and then become a merchant. So you could start creating your offers right here. And you can see they have also the merchant recruitment program where they give extra rewards for people who want to become merchants. But there are also scenarios where you don't need to create your own orders. You can sometimes just take and accept other people's offers and make money. As I showed you here, buying euros, you can see less than 0.9 euros. And now if you would be able to go and sell it for more than 0.9 euros, that would be great. However, you need to be careful here because many of these have zero completed trades and zero completion rate. So if something seems very easy, usually potential is not so high. Usually the best money making opportunities with peer to peer platforms, they take some time, such as becoming a merchant, getting the exclusive rewards and bonuses and all that. It takes some time, but usually it leads to bigger profits than just taking other people's offers here. Let's take another currency for example Indian rupee. You can see that people are selling it here for more than 95 almost 96 dollars are the best offers and they are buying it here for a cheaper price. So these people here they are making the profit by offering these and whenever there is a price difference between here sell and then buy it means that somebody is making money and that somebody can be you and it's all these people who are selling higher than they are buying. You can see here also that being peer to peer still provides zero fees using bank transfer, e-wallets and more. Meanwhile many competitors such as Binance may already require some fees because they have become so popular. So that's of course the benefit of being peer to peer. Now I want to share with you a couple of tips and also some risks to avoid when using being peer to peer and also other peer to peer platforms. The first thing is avoid getting scammed. So choose somebody who has a lot of completed orders. You can see these ones 25, 173, 213. So more than 100 I would say it's perfect. If somebody has 751 with 95% completion rate that is absolutely amazing. But of course this one here 265 95% completion rate definitely go with that one as well seems safe as well anything over 80 is good anything over 90% is great and you can see almost all of these are more than 90% so it seems that people are trading a lot here using Indian rupee another thing is that you should not release the USDT before releasing money to your bank. So now, if you are selling USDT here, you need to wait until you receive a bank transfer or whatever payment method you use into your account. So you have the Indian rupee in this case, or euro or US dollar, whatever currency you want in your bank. Have that money first, receive that money from the buyer and only after that you release the USDT. Because some people, they have released the USDT first and then 
then this person may not have an incentive to send the bank transfer for you. Of course, most of these reliable ones would still send it because they are good humans, but you shouldn't count on that. Always wait for the money first and after that release the USDT. Another thing is that you should go for the good price, but if some offers are way too good compared to other ones, then I recommend being skeptical because you can see here, these ones are offering to buy for 0 0.94 or 0 0.93 two euros but when you scroll down you can see here this reliable one with 83 0 0.854 so the difference between this one and this one is huge and that's why i'm thinking that better to be skeptical i would not go with this one if you want to be completely safe of course the amount here is small so it may be that they just need some quick cash on a specific account but still i recommend being cautious so you won't get scammed Another risk is of course getting your bank account frozen. If you start receiving bank transfer from all kinds of people, your bank may become suspicious and ask, hey, why is this person receiving all this money? So then I recommend that do fewer bigger transactions rather than many small ones. For example, I think one transaction with 1000 USDT is generally better than 10 transactions with 100 USDT. However, one huge transaction of let's say 100,000 USDT or similar may almost certainly raise red flags. So you want to consider what is too big, what is too small, what would be something perfect. Then when you do these transactions, don't leave cryptocurrency or crypto words in the message because many banks don't like cryptocurrencies because crypto is better than banks. So it's just better not to leave those crypto words there in the message box. And if you are serious about making money with peer-to-peer, -peer, you want to use a separate account for peer-to-peer. -peer. So you have a separate account for your daily actions, salary, etc. And a separate bank account for peer-to-peer. -peer. And if you are planning to do this professionally long term, I recommend that you contact your bank and make sure that they are fine with it, that you are going to transfer a lot of money through that bank account, because that's eventually the safest way uh, to avoid the risk of getting your account frozen. Then of course, the third thing is to combine different peer-to-peer -peer platforms, such as Binance, Bybit, OKX, with being peer to peer so you can for example go to binance and you can buy here lower then you can go to being x and sell it higher or the other way around you buy here lower then you go to binance and you sell it here higher and then you profit the difference other big peer-to-peer -peer platforms are bybit peer-to-peer -peer, and then also okx peer-to-peer -peer. the biggest one in the world is binance peer-to-peer -peer. they have tens of millions of users last time i checked they support more than 100 different government currencies and on top of that more than 800 different payment methods in total if we count all these different currencies so if you want to make money with peer-to-peer -peer, binance is one of the best options for that and if you want to learn to use binance peer-to-peer -peer and make money on this platform i have created for you more than 200 dedicated video tutorials helping you to make money on binance including binance peer-to-peer Binance Arbitrage Bot and much, much more. So simply take one of your fingers right now, click right here in the corner and learn to make money on Binance.